Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Have you noticed something new here? Yeah, so my hair is kind of a lilac, violet, silver, whatever you want to call this shade. And since the hair is looking fine and it's getting me inspired, I was like, maybe I should do a hair video. So yeah, you guys been asking me so much to do hair videos and I haven't done one in a while. So the hair is looking cute and I thought maybe this is the right timing for me to record one. For this one, I decided to show you a bunch of hairstyles that you can do without any hot tools or heat that can damage your hair. These are going to be very easy hairstyles and they are fall inspired so the perfect hairstyles for fall so without further ado let's roll the intro and start the video so the first hairstyle that i'm going to show you guys is one of the hairstyles that i use the most you probably already seen me rocking this on my instagram and it's the hairstyle that i like to call the samurai bun <laughs> I always associated this hairstyle with samurai if you know a better name for it or if it's just how it is let me know but it's just how I always call this hairstyle the samurai bun so this hairstyle is very very easy basically I just throw the hair on the back like this and I try to hold like a bunch of hair from the sides here and exactly the same on this side right here you need to be careful with this part smooth them out I usually like to grab some hair here too from the back and then make sure that you really separate the hair so it doesn't get messy and then it's like the easiest thing you just grab the hair tie that's on your hand and you pull it like this like you would do like a regular ponytail but then instead of pulling the hair out you just twist it like this grab with the other hand and you pass through it again like this and it creates a little samurai bun. Whenever I'm bored and I don't know what to do in the morning, I just do this. It actually like takes the hair away from my face. So it's very good to do while you're eating. Like I always do this hairstyle when I'm in restaurants and stuff. It's just so easy. And this is a tutorial for the samurai bun. And now the second hairstyle that I'm gonna show you is very similar. So that's why I'm putting this just next to samurai bun because this hairstyle, I don't think it has a name. Actually, I use it on one of my TikToks and it actually was the first TikTok that I did that got to 1 million views and I was like, what is this? I was so happy. So the hairstyle is basically the same thing that I did for the samurai bun, but there are two little samurai buns here. <laughs> I'm going to do the exact same thing, grabbing the same hair that I used for the samurai bun but this time I'm just going to divide it in two and I'm just going to pull it here so with a hair tie you're just going to pull it like this like we did before, I like to leave my finger here and you twist it, do another turn like this this hair tie is a little loose so I'm going to go a third time so basically this is it, it's just so easy, you just need to do exactly the same thing to the other side so that's all there is to the hairstyle that I did on my TikTok and it looks good with wavy hair like I use on my TikTok or with straight hair like I'm wearing today I think it's cute for fall because we've been seeing a lot of regular space buns and these ones are like a little different, a little edgier so that's just it alright guys, so after the samurai space buns I'm going to introduce you to hair claws so hair claws is something that I fell in love with like maybe like two, three months ago. I've been seeing them everywhere. I think they are very cute. And I'm going to do like three hairstyles next that are done with hair claws. So we are going to have this part of the hair, so sides and more or less like half of the back part like this. What I like to do is to grab this part and twist it just hold it with your hand like this after it's twist so it doesn't move pick a hair claw and just tap it like this and then you release it I think this hairstyle is actually very cute and also very easy and you can play around with the color of the hair claws so it's just as easy as that and the second hairstyle with hair claws is going to be the more like traditional 
hairstyle that we associate with hair clothes, grabbing the entire hair. I'm going to use the pink one for this because it's a little bigger and the hack for me since I have a long very thick hair is to do exactly the same thing that I've done before so I'm going to grab just like half of my hair and twist it and just grab it with one hand I do this because if I do the entire hair by the time that I'm ready to apply like the hair flow these parts are already very messy because it's too much hair to hold and then I grab the rest of the hair with the other hand that I do uh, more or less the same, just twist it and I twist it around the top part that I just did and then when it's ready I just apply the hair flow and I leave these hairs here to fall I think it looks kind of cute, maybe they are too much this time but like the other one you can play around with the hair clothes that you choose all right so the next hairstyle is still with hair clothes but this time we are going to be using super tiny hair clothes <laughs> really gives me 90s vibes and I believe on the fall and winter fashion always tends to revolve around the 90s or have a huge info about 90s I personally love the 90s I'm a 90s baby there's going to be like a big 90s comeback this fall which includes the hair cloth because they were huge in the 90s and these small babies too so I want to do a hairstyle with this so I just grab a piece and start rolling like twisting and as I twist I grab more hair and keep on twisting and when I feel like it's enough I just put the hair cloth and I'm going to do the same here underneath and just put another one in we already reached the purple here so I'm just going to do a big one a big roll here just like this and I'm going to do the same on this side now and we are all done it really has a 90s vibe and it looks really cute as well if you don't have bangs because it's really it really takes the hair away from your face but i kind of dig it with bangs as well and just my signature looks so i'm just not going to clip them for this and also the hair clothes are also from claire's in case you want to grab them all right so the next hairstyle we have is actually a bun like a regular bun i think like probably since kim kardashian and started like wearing the really sleek bun everyone was crazy about it but the bun that I believe is going to be more trendy this fall is the low bun so I believe low buns are a little bit more classy and we're probably going to see them more often this fall at least that's what I believe and just like low ponytails as well and for the low bun we start with a low ponytail so that's like two in one I really love this hairstyle like a low ponytail is also very cute so you can just stop right here and use this hairstyle on its own but I really want to show you how I do the bun so after you have the low ponytail I just twist it I try to twist with the purple to show but that's just if you have like split hair dye and then start twisting it around the hair tie like this it will twist on its own and create like a bun shape I'm just going to use this style of hair clips and I just stick them on the bun and on the hair on the head as well and when I grab hair from both of those places I just stick it inside of the bun I just use like four or five of this if small hairs come out like this I usually like to leave them I think they look very like edgy and cute when a small piece of hair comes out and it's just as easy as this very chic, very classy and I believe it's going to be really trendy this fall only two hairstyles left the next one is the classic pigtail and I believe that pigtails have been kind of seen as a little bit more childish obviously but I believe that's a 
stigma that we need to break down because I think pigtails is just a hairstyle and it's very cute and everyone can wear it at any age so yeah I think it's also going to be trendy this fall and I hope that more people get into it just try it go for it because they are so fun and so cute and I believe they can be classy as well so I'm going to split the hair down the middle and for this one I'm not going to do low I'm just going to do really high and one trick for it not to be very childish is to instead of putting them like really on the side to go a little more towards the back but once again it's a stigma so if you want to wear them to the side and if you're a grown-up just do it it's actually one of my favorite hairstyles to use with a split hair dye it really shows really well the color and i'm going to do the same here and that's basically it we have our pigtails done i really hope they come back strong on this fall because it's one of my favorite hairstyles so for this last hairstyle i'm gonna take advantage of my pigtails that i already did and i'm going to do two braids on them <laughs> easy hairstyle and it reminds me of Miss Britney Spears and it's just so cute so basically you take the pigtail and you divide in three to do like a regular braid I'm gonna use one of these transparent hair ties and I'm gonna do the same with this one all right so here we have them actually your hair is popping out there and I'm actually glad because I have a trick for this and I might just well teach you right now so just grab a hair clip and you just put it on the hair that just came out like this you just twist and then you pop the hair clip inside of the braid and that way the hair goes back inside and this is it so yeah it's very fun very cool for fall and i really love this one very britney spears vibes all right guys so those were all the hairstyles i think i teach you like eight or nine probably some of them are really obvious but i just want to put out there like the hairstyles that i believe they are going to be trendy if you recreate any of these if you take inspo from any of this tag me on your hair pictures because i love to see when you guys recreate my stuff you guys know it's one of my favorite things also don't forget to subscribe to this channel also the links to my social media are down below instagram and tiktok and i will probably add the link to my depop account as well because some of you asked for it on my last video and that's it see you guys next week hope you liked the video bye love you